We're here today at the Wasatch Railroad Contractor Shops in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and we've got three of our locomotives out today, one of which is being delivered to the incredible Christmas place in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. As you look at all three of the locomotives, and we'll show you some photos, some individual photos of each one, but as you look at each one of them, they each have their own unique characteristics. Some of them have more brass bands than others. Some have little finishing touches different than others. Some have green valves, some have red valves, others have blue valves. We do this because each individual customer wants a specific locomotive built around and designed to their specifications. So we try really hard to make sure that we incorporate everything that the customer wants into each locomotive. We've run all three of these and all three of these are restorations, uh, all of them for different customers and private customers, but each one runs just tremendously. We've been able to test run each one. Uh, we've been able to play with them and tune them up, make sure that they work well. And with these new brand new code boilers that we've been able to put on them and some of the new features that we've been able to do like roller bearings and some new and improved castings, uh, nicer injectors, the engines really run quite well. So we're really excited to watch these locomotives go back to their homes. Uh, back to their owners, see what they can do and watch them perform. We believe that they're every bit as good today as they were back in 1904, 1911, and 1911. And uh, we believe that they're going to be great operators and good running locomotives in the future. So if you want to learn more about the locomotives, please come to our webpage or give us a call. We'd be happy to tell you more about them. We're going to take a, a little look around today and show you some of the other neat features that we're able to do with these locomotives and train sets. Just like with the locomotives, we try to individualize the cars or any other piece of rolling stock that we're making for the customer. This particular car is going to the incredible Christmas place in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We were able to design and take from their original logos and their original artwork, uh, the artwork that we needed to be able to make the logos and the designs for this particular car. Uh, you can see how we've tailor-made this car with the uh, decorative seats, the logoing on the outside, and the color imaging specifically for the incredible Christmas place. So again, not only do we try to specify and, and be very specific with the locomotives and what the customer needs on the locomotives, but also we do the same with the cars. We're really excited about these cars. We think they're just absolutely beautiful with the holly and the berries and the logo that's on the side of them. So uh, we're really excited to get this car out and see how well it runs and performs. The other neat thing about this car is this is also the fuel car for the locomotive. The propane bottles, which this particular locomotive fires on propane, the propane bottles are stored in this compartment here for easy hookup and use. These are just standard five gallon propane bottles that you use on a barbecue cooker or anything else, which makes it very easy for the customer to take those bottles out, take them down to their local facility, have them filled up again, bring them back, put them back in the car and then run again. One other neat feature about these cars that we're designing for the incredible Christmas place is that these cars will have one car that's handicap accessible. The car will have a side door that actually opens up completely. Wheelchair will be able to be put inside of the car and then locked down to the car. The doors will then close. So this train set is really made to handle all types of passengers and there really is no weight limit uh, or passenger number limit other than the, the safety constraints of being able to make sure that we put the right number of people in the cars. But we're very excited about the cars, what they can do, and we're very excited about the locomotive and the features that we've been able to design into it. One of the other things that we've done here at Wasatch is we've added some great technology to the shop. As we're building these new Cagney locomotives and even the boilers that we're building now, it's become more of an issue for us to get material out of other suppliers because we don't order super huge amounts, but we order enough that we need to keep our projects going so that we can provide good service to our customers. What we've done is we've actually gone out and purchased our own plasma cutting machine. This is an 8 foot by 12 foot Dynatorch plasma cutting machine. We can cut all kinds of things on it, including a piece of pipe. We can actually put a piece of pipe in this machine, rotate it around, cut all of the holes for a boiler. So all the outlets that we need, the steam dome outlet, we can do up to 14 inches in diameter for a barrel on this particular machine. But what we're going to demonstrate to you today is the cutting of a half inch plate for a locomotive uh, frame rail. This frame rail is for an Allen model Chloe locomotive and Blake's going to demonstrate how we run the machine but just to give you a quick rundown on the machine, first we load the drawing into the computer which we've got the frame rail set up in the computer right now. Blake then sets up the machine with the piece of plate on the machine and he tells the machine where he's going to want to cut the plate and then we'll actually go through the process of cutting the plate. 
But what this machine allows us to do is to cut all types of boiler plates. It allows us to cut all types of locomotive and frame rail pieces. Gives us a great advantage in the industry because now we're not relying on a third party industry or a third party vendor to get us these parts. We can actually do all of them in house. So let's take a minute and let's watch Blake cut out this Allen model seven and a half inch scale Chloe locomotive frame rail on our brand new Dynatorch plasma cutting machine. This should be pretty exciting. Here we go. Before Blake actually cuts this piece, he's going to do a dry run with the machine. So you can see the frame rail sitting on the computer screen where Blake's sitting and he's actually going to push start. What that's going to do is require the machine to go through a practice run. And while the machine's going through its practice run, we're going to go over and watch it go through the steps of the cut before it actually makes the cut. So go ahead and press start, Blake, and we'll go watch the machine move. The machine's now going through the process of running the cut without actually cutting. And this allows us to do a few things. First, it allows us to make sure that we've utilized the material properly, that we're not cutting out more material than we need to, and that we're putting the plate, or the piece rather, on the piece of plate in the proper configuration so that we can get as much use out of this piece of material as possible. Once the machine's finished its dry run, then Blake will go back to the computer and push start and the machine will actually start the cutting process where it will cut that frame rail out of this piece of material just like it's doing in its dry run right now. Okay, the machine has finished its dry run. Blake's gone back and set the parameters for the machine for the proper thickness of cut and for the proper size of the plate and the material. And now Blake's going to push go and we're going to hear the machine initiate and then we'll go over and watch the machine actually cut this frame rail out. There you have it folks, within three and a half minutes, a locomotive frame rail has been cut out on this plasma machine. Blake's gonna take it out of the piece there and show us what the finished uh, frame rail actually looks like. We've got here a few examples of pieces we've cut out on this plasma machine so far. 
In the upper left hand side, the locomotive frame rails for the Chloe model, Allen Chloe model. Below that is a firebox door sheet. Below that, a tube sheet for a locomotive boiler. And then another piece that we cut is one of our test sample pieces. All of those pieces are laying on top of a uh, side body piece for a 1904 Cagney replica passenger car. All of these pieces were cut out on this plasma machine and interestingly enough, all of these pieces have been cut out in the last couple of days using this machine. Great piece of technology, we're excited to share it with people. Hope that when you need your next piece cut that you'll consider Wasatch uh, for cutting that special piece for your locomotive project. Behind me you can see a brand new replica Cagney riding car that was assembled 100% today thanks to the technology of the plasma machine that we just showed to you. All of the pieces for this frame except for some of the tubular pieces were cut solely on the plasma machine and because of the precision of the machine we're able to put the entire car together very quickly and finish the project uh, much more quickly. What it also allows us is a much smoother and nicer finish on the end steel so that when we get to the point that we finish and complete this car and paint it, the car will actually look a whole lot nicer than it does now. But again, that's thanks to the technology of the plasma machine that allows us to cut so precisely and then put the thing together so precisely. Really great machine. It's really neat to see a car like this go together in under one day. Absolutely amazing. Well, we've gotten to see a lot of really neat things today here at the Wasatch Shops in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Before we let you go today, we want to remind you that we're coming out with a brand new webpage. It's got all of our products listed. You may not be aware, but we do offer quite a few products for the live steam and the full size steam industry. Just to give you an example of a few, I've got right here in my hand a safety valve uh, for a miniature locomotive. We do offer these valves. We offer water glasses. Uh, we offer a lot of different uh, boiler components, injectors, uh, all types of things for your miniature and your full-size needs for your locomotives. So we're going to encourage you to watch our webpage as it changes over the next couple months where it'll be easier for you to see the products that we offer, uh, the different technologies that we have here at the shop that we've shown to you today. And it's also going to make it a little bit easier for you to see the projects that are going on here at the shop. So we hope you'll watch out and watch, keep track of the Wasatch Railroad Contractors webpage. If you have any questions, please send them to us. We've gotten a lot of really good questions uh, from our most recent movies, particularly about injectors. We're going to continue to do the, uh, the videos on the components of locomotives. We're going to continue to do workshop videos like this one. So we hope that you'll keep sending us questions. Uh, come to our webpage often. Chat with us as often as you want. Always remember you can find us on Facebook as well. And we'll look forward to seeing you during our next episode. Don't forget also that we'll be at Train Festival the end of July and then at Eden Springs uh, the end of July, 1st of August with Kerry Williams and his great team. So we'll look forward to seeing you at one of these next upcoming shows and then later on in the fall as we progress to some of the tractor shows. Thanks again for watching. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye now.